everybody and welcome back to Pokemon Black. In the last episode we made it through Route 1. We saw a very mysterious dude with some lovely green hair. And we made it to the next town after beating up Bianca. So in this one, we're just going to be exploring the town a bit and see what this place has to offer. Uh, I did fix the input, apparently I just pressed the button weird. So uh, there is a guy over here. Pokemon can be found in dark places too. That's when a dust ball can, be, can do the trick. Here's one for you. Free dust ball. I believe we don't get these until after the fifth gym. So, pretty useful. But, we should probably head to the dream yard right here. I think that's the next step. Um, let me look at my Pokemon real quick. Let's put Kai out in the front. Here we go. Forget you gotta press B. They got some really nice music here in the dream yard. Which will be easily cut off by a gym battle. Not a gym battle, train battle. <laughs> Let's see what this lady's got. Last airy. A fur loin. What a surprise. I can take care of this easily. We'll just keep tackling. And we're gonna switch to water gun afterwards since our attack is negative right now. Alright, so water gun. Assist. Oh, we can probably see what this actual move does. Uh, that move just basically pulls a move from anyone in the party, so it can use moves that technically it can't use, which can be pretty useful. I'm talking like any move. As long as like someone in your party has a, has that move, you can just learn it. Or I guess like use it. You can't learn it. But... There we go. For a little time. Good job, Kai. Level 10. Another for A lot of cats. The water gun. But she still using growl. Ooh, that was a like cat. That's pretty good. I mean, we're doing actual big damage. After this, I'm gonna switch Iggy into the front to get him some levels as well. Yeah, because Kai just got two. <laughs> so, except for little Iggy too as well. Water sports. I believe that weakens fire type moves on the field. Yep. Yeah, it does. Alright. So, Iggy? Oh, Iggy has an item. And take. Oh, an escape rope. Okay. Alright. Over here. We can't do anything with that tree yet, but we can just continue walking this way. My goal is to outform dream leaders. Can I- can you win against me? Um, I'm pretty sure I can. Uh, Junkster Joey. It's a pat rat. Does he have like three pat rats? At least do three different Pokemon. Ooh, that's a good thing about it. Let's him flinch sometimes. I believe it's crunch that lowers the fence. So you just gotta pick your like which kind of ones that you want. And he's all ten now. Little puppy. Little puppy. What a pet rat. Stan just has a bunch of rats. Alright, buddy. He can deal with this. See, he's fine. He'll probably get another level after this next fight. Oh, he's got a little pup. Okay. Well, two rats and a dog. I guess that's alright. 
I pressed the ROM button. Oops, sorry. No, no, I'm like figuring this ROM thing as I go, of like what buttons automatically do what. Apparently alt pauses, and the comma thing like shows inputs, apparently. Oh, and Iggy's too. He's a level. Good job. Like Pokemon fought well, didn't they? Uh, well, a little bit, I guess. I mean, he was at full health, and now he's at like half health. <laughs> I guess that counts for something. What are you? Hey, hey you! What was your first Pokemon you received? Oshawa, really? Then Sinisir will be a big help. Your Oshawa doesn't seem to do well against grass types. Say, hey, you want this fancier of mine? Sure. Okay, here you go. You can use fire type moves so it makes it hot against grass types. Look how fancier now. Um, I don't think I'll have him in my party as a full-time person, but he's, he's good for right now. Uh, yeah, let's see, him. Oh, it's a girl! We got our first girl in the party now. Huh. Damn it. If this was a boy, I would have named him Luffy. <laughs> it's a girl. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for this. <laughs> I was kind of banking on it being a guy. Hmm. Damn, I don't know. Oh, let's flip it the uppercase while I think. It's a fire type. Hmm. I don't know. Well, you know, I have an idea. I'll do it, Barbie. After, um, the Hell of a Boss one, uh, Barbie Wire. Can I put wire here? I think I'll put Barbie Wire. It's, uh, Blitzo's sister. Oh, it had to, it just has to be one big word. Okay, that's fine. Where's the W? I'm just realizing. Just, okay. just use my mouse <laughs> like a normal human. Barbie Wire! There are many types of Pokemon out there. If you have many types of Pokemon, something will work no matter what kind of Pokemon you have to face. Very true. It's always good to diverse your Pokemon. And we got an X defense. Is he useful? Uh, X items it can only be used in battle, and it ups by two stages, I believe. Depending on what kind of X. Uh, X item that you use. In this case, uh, special, not special, uh, physical defense goes up by two stages. Um, oh yeah, let's look at the, um, look at a Barbie now. We gotta see the, the natures and everything. Oh, Iggy picked up another item. Oh, full heal, that's pretty good. Alright, Barbie wire, let's see. Modest nature, met in dream yard, strong will. Okay, that, that's okay. Minus attack plus special attack. That, that's okay. He's more of a special attacker anyway, so I think this is the best <laughs> the best nature that he could get. Uh, he's got scratch. How do I select? Okay, here. So he's got scratch, leer, lick, and incinerate. Okay, that, that's, that's good. We got, a, we got a good type with us. We should probably put him in the front for a little bit. And... What's this guy? Are you looking for the gym leader? He's not here. He should be at the trainer school. If you want to challenge him, please go find him. The trainer school is not far from this gym. Okay. Let me uh, let me heal first, and then I'll head over there. Can we catch a Pokemon? When you have more Pokemon, you're less likely to lose in battles, and it's more fun to look at your Pokedex and PC box. Very true. Yes, please. Alright. Thank you, Nish Joy. I love when my Pokemon are dying. Alright, so it is the trainer school. I gotta remember I can run. <laughs> Alright, trainer school. 
Oh, there's Sharon. What's up, boy? When a Pokemon is poisoned, its HP decreases while it's battling. Hey, Phoenix. Have you come looking for the gym leader? Yes. He was here talking about Pokemon types just moments ago. Maybe you walked right past him? No, I should not, Pokemon Center. By the way, Phoenix, will you have a battle with me? I want to test how important items are in battle. Sure, why not? Well, let's see how effective my items are. Or maybe I should test how well I can battle without items. Anyway, this is the normal match, so let's battle without getting too rough. Alright. Sharon's music is pretty good. He's got two. It's Snivy and I don't know the other one. Oh, wow, I made a good move by putting Barbie wire in there. Yeah, I mean, the monkey looks like an imp anyway, so it, it works out. Alright, just let you, just the incinerate. And that move also burns berries, so they can't regenerate. That's fantastic. Alright. Who's the MRMS and moves that attack for? They're sure a lot of different moves. Absolutely, bro. Incinerate. What did he catch? I feel like he caught a pat rat. Yeah, he, he gets a watch on his team, so I'm pretty sure it's a pat rat. Good job, Barbie. Oh, it's a purloin. It's important to choose which items your Pokemon are holding. Absolutely, dude. Um, I just use some Cinderella. You guys probably hold a more berry. Wouldn't hurt to try. Not fair. It's fucking real. I do think this is a special move anyway. Alright, this thing's dead next turn, it's fine. I think all the elemental monkeys have like a low XP curve. So, um, Barbie Wire over here ain't gonna level up as fast. But it's okay, we love her. See, losing to you means I have a lot to learn. Fucking eight hundred dollars. <laughs> so learning to use items well is definitely important. Then. Oh, here, Phoenix. I'll give you these berries. We got orange berries. That's good. A nice useful item. If you give these to a Pokemon, this kind of berry to hold, it will eat. It will eat to heal up when its HP goes down in battle. But if you give a Pokemon man-made items like potions to hold, they can't use them. Well, good luck then. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some of those on. Where is the berries? There they are. Game is three. So I'm going to just do Kai and give to Barbie. Okay, that should be fine. How are we doing on time right now? Okay, I think we have enough time just to go through and challenge the gym leader. I'm going to heal first. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. Now this gym is very different depending on who you pick as your starter. Whoever you pick as your starter, what you're weak against will be the person that you're going to be up against. And then when you go to Dream Garden, you'll get whatever is strong against it. So, in my version, it's this guy. Yes. Yes, I am a gym leader of this town. You are... Frank, you want to challenge the gym. In that case, who was the first Pokemon you chose? Ashwa, I see. It's weak against Grass-type Pokemon. I think you need to prepare to face that type. I'll be waiting for you inside. I forgot his name, but he does appear in the anime to follow Ash and Iris, so that was pretty cool. Oh, my favorite part! Hello, I'm Clyde, and I'm the guide for trainers challenging the Pokemon Gym. We appreciate you challenging the gym. Take this to commemorate the occasion. 
I'm never using fresh waters. They are trophies. <laughs> and I think if you talk to me, I'll give you a more information. One basic element of battling is the relation between types. If you choose Pokemon with effective types and effective moves, victory will be a step away. In this gym, you proceed by stepping on the switch that type is effective against the Pokemon shown on the current. Okay, so in this case, it's fire, so water. Perfect. Going to real quick, just put Iggy back in the front. Actually, you know what? Barbie's just gotta get some more levels, so. Perfect. We got a waiter. Welcome to Strange and Gym. Care for a taste of the battle? I'll serve up the first course. I believe everyone uses normal types, and it's just the gym leader that changes based off of whatever opposite type. Maxwell. Hold up. I feel like this gym does a good job at, like, teaching you, like, you gotta get different Pokemon to, to take, to, you know, progress and everything in a nice smooth manner of getting different types, not just, like, doing a water run or a grass run or a fire run. So, very useful to teaching kids about, like, you know, just building teams and shit. Um... Yeah, let's keep using this one, right? Scratch doesn't really do much. I might switch to Iggy. Yeah, we're not doing too good. Alright, Iggy, it's your turn. <laughs> Iggy be fine. Yeah, that thing's strong. Um, yeah, just bite it. Just bite another dog. This is basically dog fighting. Flinch, let's go. Down. Bite, bite it, bite it. Perfect. Whoa, you're a trainer with a lot of potential. I know I am. Thank you. Alrighty, and grass is super effective against water. Perfect. I know, I'm so good at knowing that. Um, let's switch it up, let's put Kai in. Specialty of Serenian Gym is the full course, Trainer Deluxe. I'm your second course. do those meals work? Because I know, like, the entree's the main course, but, like, what the fuck is, like, like a three-course meal? Is that supposed to be, like, appetizer, dinner, and then dessert? Or does dessert not count? I don't know. Uh, water gun. Ew, why is this thing faster than me? Oh, yeah, we're negative speed. <laughs> Just because of our, like, nature. I forgot about that. Oops. Let's use a water gun. It'll be fine. As long as we don't flinch. Kai, I just said, don't flinch! Ugh. Fine, he made up for it. I guess we're the same speed. Because I got to go first that time. And good job, Kai. You ate an orange berry. Perfect, he's dead. Damn. That was almost a level. Water gun. Use bind- Oh, I don't like that move. I don't like that move whatsoever. That move has killed so many of my runs. Um, real quick, um, what, what does Tail Whip do again? Sorry. Uh, check moves. What does this do? Uh, lower defense. Okay, um, I'm scared. 
Oh, I'm scared, I'm scared. I hate, I hate that move. It has killed so many of my Nuzlocks. Yeah, I think Kai's gonna go down here. We get Iggy. This isn't a Nuzlocke, so I shouldn't be worried about losing people. I feel sad to hear him die. <laughs> Alright. Iggy's got it. It's fine. Out of all the moves for assist to pick, pick that one. Growling at me. Good job. Oh, we got a critical out of that. That's nice. Go, Iggy. And they give up 12. Um, they don't do a lot of double battles, so no. Uh, yeah, I give up on helping hand. I'm going to run back to the, uh... <laughs> I'm gonna run back to that Pokemon Center real quick. <laughs> Let me just... This shouldn't activate a cutscene, so... Alright. Run back real quick. <laughs> the last thing I need to do is die. <laughs> so we're at the final. I believe it's a Lillipop that they put out, and then it's whatever opposite monkey. So I believe we're doing Pant Sage. So maybe I should lead with Iggy. And if things go south, then we'll put in. We'll, we'll put in Barbie. Not too bad of an idea. All right, back, 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 back. So, welcome to Cerulean City Gym. I'm Chili. I line things up with Fire-type Pokémon. I'm the Water-type Specialist, and my name is Chris. Pleased to make your acquaintance. And I am Chillin. Sil- Cillian, sorry. I can't pronounce my own name. I like Grass-type Pokémon. <laughs> um, you see, as for why the three of us, mm, I, are all here is, uh, well... Oh, enough, listen up. The three of us will decide who you will battle. It is based off of the type of your first Pokemon you chose. That is indeed the case. And the partner you chose was the water type, it seems. Nothing personal, no hard feelings. Me and grass type Pokemon will, um, we're gonna battle. Come back. Come what may. I can't English. So uh, you're okay with me. I'll put everything I got into, er, I, you know, being your opponent. Socially awkward, I love that. Surprisingly, I'm not a simp for this guy, <laughs> even though he does have green hair. <laughs> oh, he does love me with the little pop. I was right. Oh, I got my own little pop, so jokes on you, silly. All right, so I'm gonna go with bite and hope we flinch him. Oh, I forget they use work up a lot. I feel like that hurt more than what I did. Oh, okay, no. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Fight it, fight it. Ah, oh, shit, he's potion. It's, it's fine, we're ahead. Right again. Oh, we're, we're still faster. Or, or else we keep running those uh, speed rolls. Oh my god, Iggy. Perfect. Should I heal Iggy? Or sh Oh no. I don't know if we're faster. I oh, know I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna heal Iggy. Be nice to him. Uh, let's just use the potion. Oh. Sorry, pause it. <laughs> and he's setting up. Oh. Okay. 
fucking bite it. It's like eating a salad. That did a lot of damage. If I lower its defense, that wouldn't matter because Barbie is a more of a special attacker. Let's try doing the same with, like, Stab. And it has plus two with <laughs> That's not good. But that did more. We are gonna die here. Oh, we just working again. Okay, I'll just minus one defense at least. Maybe I can get Kai in here to just do, like, tackle or something. I don't know. Sorry, Iggy. Uh, I don't think we're faster, but we're gonna fucking try. We're not faster! We're not fast! Alright, Barbie, it's up to you. At least this won't do it. As much because we are fire. Um, fuck, I'm just doing the same thing. Oh, we're gonna die. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Oh my god, he's gonna heal him. It's a again. And he got greedy. Alright, we won this. As long as you don't miss. Which I don't think we can, but just in case, don't miss. Alright, we won. I killed Kai for no reason. <laughs> Good job, Barbie. You deserve that level. Er, is it over now? Absolutely. I almost... <laughs> I kind of whited out. What a surprise, you're really strong. Seems seems like seems like not even Chili or Crest can, could beat you. And we got our first gym badge. We got a little case for it. And we put it right there. Damn, it would really suck if you're born in the like the like your hometown is where the H gym is and you had to travel all the way over here. Gym battles are proof of a trainer's abilities. If you have one badge Pokemon, including your traded Pokemon, up to level 20, we'll obey you without question. We also want to give you this. We got work up. That's a really good move. But I don't use that kind of stuff. HM83 contains work up. If you use work up, the Pokemon's attack and special attack will go up. By the way, TMs can be used as many times as you want. That was the biggest change in this game. Because Diamond and Pearl, I believe, it was still, you can only use one, so. It was a good change. Who are you? <laughs> hey there, I'm Fennel. Professor Juniper asked me to give you something. Please follow me. Am I going good on time? <laughs> I, I think, like, after we go through this, we'll, we'll end it. You're going to meet all the Pokemon in the Unova region, am I right? Oh, the upstairs is right here. My room is upstairs here. Come on, go upstairs. What? Oh, no, okay. Damn. Like I said, I'm, I'm Fennel, and as you can see, I'm a scientist. In fact, the subject I'm researching is trainers. Professor Juniper is my friend from college. She asked me to help you guys. So, I give you something to help you. It's a hidden machine. Oh, we got cut. All right, Barbie Wire is now our HM slave. There are some moves that a Pokemon can use, even when it's not fighting. With this hidden machine, you can teach your Pokemon a move called Cut. It can cut down a small tree. And you can use a hidden machine as many times as you want, like a TM. Isn't that great? But it's difficult to make a Pokemon forget a hidden move once it's learned it. Now I'd like to ask you a favor. There's a place called the Dream Yard on the outskirts of Australian City. Oops, I don't know what I did. I paused it. Oops, sorry. 
<laughs> I like some of the dream mists from that Pokemon from a Pokemon that is called Luna. With that, I'll be able to use Game Sync to collect save files of various trainers. Oh yeah, we can do that. We should probably go ahead and teach Barbie that move then. Use. And Barbie. All my Pokemon are dead. Yeah, just get rid of Leer. We don't need that kind of shit. Alright, and back in. Back. Let's go kill our Pokemon and then we'll end the episode there. As long as you don't get interrupted. Thank you. Alright. Let's start somewhere else. Let's I guess we'll we'll see right here. That way it's not like the, we we ended and started in the same place, you know? Alrighty, so we saw Charon and see where he ended. We challenged the gym leader for this area and won almost flawlessly. And we met Funnel, the, pro the scientist that Professor Juniper talked about when we were on our way to the city. And now that Funnel has given us a request, that will be what we do next time. We'll be going into the Dream Garden and trying to find Muna and get some Dream Mist for her. So, I think that's where we're going to end it. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, next one, Dream Yard, and hopefully we'll go into Route 3 and see what new Pokemon we can find there. So until then, my name is Phoenix, and it was a pleasure playing with you guys. Have a nice day!